What is going on, fellas? And welcome back to the Non League to Legend series. We are taking on Athlone and Bray in today's games. As you can see from the league table down here, we've been in fantastic form. It is going also very well. We've had two defeats, but they're not that bad, to be fair. There were two nils, both of them. Not ideal. But, you know, second in the league. Uh, we'll take it. It's been pretty good. Seeing as how we're expected to finish 10th, and we're still expected to finish 10th, and our odds have gotten worse since we've done better. Yeah, they're 125 to 1 now. There were 30... What was it? 30... Th was it 30 to 1? And then it went to 33 to 1. And now it's 125 to 1. Even though we've had a good start. Hmm. Anyway. The... Games we've played in between. So the last you would have seen would have been the Galway game. We then went on to beat Limerick 2-1. Charlie Fleming and Jimmy Mawanga with the goals down in the Munster Senior Cup quarterfinal. Absolutely smashed Leeds. Eric Hiley with a double. Charlie Fleming with the double. It's been... He, oh, they were fantastic. Then against UCD we got shit on. We were terrible. Then against Drogheda 3-1. Uh, Mickey Rourke as I'm calling him. Because I keep forgetting he's got... O in his name um, and Eric Kiley with a two minute brace well a 66th and 67th minute then we beat Wexford 2-1 Eric Kiley with the double fantastic Charlie Fleming got himself sent off of course then against Kevin Teeley Rory McAlevey got himself sent off five minutes into his debut not ideal we played horrendously poorly so we ended up losing. Then we played Finn Harps. Absolutely smashed them 4-2. It was not as easy as it looks. Because uh, we were 2-2 for quite a while. And then we boshed in two goals in the final six minutes. That being said. Today we play Athlone. Who are second bottom. And Bray who are third. I'm looking for two easy wins here. Uh, we also drew Cork in the Cork City. In the Munster Senior Cup. So Cove Wanderers or Middleton. Are probably going to be playing Cork City in the final. Because I don't think that we're going to be capable of beating Cork City. Because we would smash either one of those teams. But we were not lucky enough to get the the nice draw. So for the game. Have we signed anyone actually? Have we signed a player since you were here? Oh, yeah, we've Jason Abbott coming in from Cove Wanderers. Um, I offered a contract to Jordan Carroll and uh, Benyon O'Brien Whitmarsh. They haven't signed yet. So, no, nothing's happened since you were here. Um, we do have, as I said, a huge squad. Most of them aren't getting paid, so it's fine. If they're not on the bench or starting, they're not getting paid. Except for Paul Hunt. But I think his 75 quid a week is probably worth it because of how good of a mentor he is. So, <laughs> McAlevey has one game played, but no average rating. Fucker got sent off four minutes into his debut. So for this game, we have Holland in goal, McAlevey and Taylor playing as our wing backs, McSweeney and O'Reardon playing as our centre backs, with Hurley, Malachlan and Lamb playing as our centre midfield trio, Quinlan and Devitt in behind Kylie. As you can see, Kylie has been in exceptional form. Seven games, one sub appearance, and a ten goals. The man is an absolute lunatic. So we're enjoying life so far. Um, I have recently signed a new contract as well. Um, nobody wanted me in the rest of the world. So I've decided to just uh, man up and take a new contract. So I signed a two year contract, 450 euro a week I think it was. Which is basically what I wanted the entire time. Um, I refused to drop below 450 and I got what I wanted. So, persistence pays off. I had to spend a little bit of time with no contract. We started off so very well. And we've got an awful lot of uh, spare wage budget anyway. So, we nearly a thousand in spare wage budget. Like if the players that were actually... If I played every player we had in our team, we would have had, I think it's like 800 quid left over. But because you can only play 11 players at a time and seven of 
seven extra players get paid if they come off the bench and if they don't come off the bench they might get a little bit extra money for not playing you know because we're not paying everybody all the time it's just a case of who starts the game really and the three players that come off the bench get some get some money so i'm not necessarily spending that much money we have like, like i said it's about a thousand um a thousand yoyos to spend on wages if we wanted to i don't see why we would uh just we're in the first league in ireland we're not going to be bringing in you know Kylian mbappe or Lionel messi they're not gonna be joining us so it's not really any point in me uh spending a huge sum of money on a player's wages because if a player comes in on a non-contract i'd gladly have them in the team if they don't want to play a non-contract then they can get the fuck right out because that is pretty much how we oh jesus mclevy shocking thankfully hamilton is worse uh everyone who has been coming in for our players it's all been the under 19 squads that they're the team is trying to send them to so none of them have been even remotely interested in moving because we're guaranteeing them well not guaranteeing but we're more likely i suppose to give them first team football whereas what they're being offered by the other clubs is under 19s so i can understand why a lot of them are less inclined to move uh, we're gonna go a poacher advanced forward combo combo um i need to bring a center back on i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring on jamie sullivan because jamie sullivan is good at the football bring you two back have you sitting in a midfield five if he was an inverted winger because why not make you play as an actual normal human winger normal human winger hmm interesting so we're going for a slip bit of a tactical change see if that helps us with the the going forward part you'll go two up top three at the back let it all hang out buddies i don't i don't really don't want to draw with um with that loan you know O'Sullivan to Pierce whips it in. Nobody's ever but Malachlan. Powering run forward, pings it around, and Evan Pierce with the goal. Evan Pierce, the forgotten man of Cove. <laughs> Cove. He's not had the best of uh, the best of luck. He's not really played, to be fair. So it's a bit unfair to kind of judge his time at the club because he's not had an awful lot of. Uh, First team, for, wait, okay, I was going to say, what happened there? Uh, David's not playing great, so we could bring a Stephen O'Leary. Could have got Vinnie Quinlan, but now we bring on Stephen O'Leary. <clears throat> McSweeney takes the free, doesn't quite get to anybody, but Hurley picks it up. Kylie, Hurley, do something with it, thank you. Quinlan. McLaughlin lets the ball run loose, but Hurley picks it up. Pierce back to goal. McLaughlin, oh, just puts it over the bar. I don't want to cut my chickens before they fuck, but oh, that was oh, that was me cutting my chickens before they fucked. Kenny, to mean Kenny, big ball forward. Oh, Tom Holland, straight in there, in there like swimwear. O'Sullivan puts it into, like, row D. We don't have a row Z, so. Unfortunately for row, uh, into row Z, we don't have one. So, you're not getting a shout out, buddy. Not this time, buddy boy. Oh, oh, oh. McGovern to Dylan. Game is over, lads. Just blow the whistle. Please, for the love of Jesus, just blow the whistle. Hold on to it, Holland. Come on, Tom. So long to the ball. We've won the game. Fantastic. Evan Pierce with the breakthrough came off the bench. Delightful lads. Well done lads, that was fantastic. Uh McAlevy, you were shocking. Uh you weren't at your best today, you deserve to come off. You don't care, and I don't care either, because Fleming has been playing rather well. 
So I'm not overly worried about the right back position because we have Gorman as well, who can play there. So Galway continue their adventures. Finn Harps really struggling after their relegation. UCD doing I mean, just, a, just a smidge a little bit, bit better. Um, they're looking for O'Rourke. Yeah, well, O'Rourke is off at UCC. Not really doing much. Play two cup games. Shelburne went for free. He's a non-contract player, so he could, you know, wander off into the darkness and nobody would even have an idea. I wouldn't have an iota if, half, if any of my players were to leave. Cause to be fair, I don't know most of them. So 20 games in. Uh, no fewer than 14 players arriving on a free since June. Plays has sought to stamp his mark on the team and looks to be adept at raiding the transfer market for bargains. We're doing good, lads. Uh, media hail young Kylie's performances. Extravagant praise. Oh. Your form has been hugely impressive despite our struggles against relegation. We've overperformed. I don't want to. Also, dynamics are fantastic. They were terrible. At the start of the season, we won one game and everyone went, this guy's actually quite good. Maybe we'd, maybe we'd play the football for him. So yeah, we can see 450 a week until the end of 2021. I don't think we'll still be here in 2021. I hope we're not going to be here in 2021. But I do want um, a second badge. Go for a national A license would be nice. Just have to uh, wait for it to pop back up because um, last my ass they said no. Right, we will be back in but a moment for the game against Bray, which is in seven days' time, and it is going to fly by. Woo! See you guys in just a second. All right, fellas, we're back now for the game against Bray Wanderers, who are currently fourth in the league. Regardless of what happens at the end of this game, we will still be second. At worst currently not a bad position to be in so far um couple of changes I think from the last game don't really remember to be honest just recorded it like seven minutes ago don't remember anything uh, <clears throat> Tom Holland continues in goal because he is just an absolute monster of a goalkeeper Fleming and Taylor as our wingbacks McSweeney and O'Reardon as our centre-backs. Hello. Okay, thank you. Uh, O'Rourke, Malachlan and Lamb as our central midfield trio. Quinlan and O'Leary as our wingers. Well, inside forward, inverted winger. And Kylie continues up front with his 10 goals this season in nine games. Boy, it is nice to have a striker who scores goals. <clears throat> And there was me thinking when the head of youth development, do we have a head of youth development? Did we sign one after Frank Kelleher left? Hmm. We're underdogs. Okay, they don't seem to be as happy about the underdogs as they normally are. <clears throat> so I have to hope that Kylie is on form today. Um, Kylie was brought in by our head of youth development when he seemingly went on a tour of Donegal um, and brought a couple of lads back from Bally Buffet. But, yeah, surprise, I didn't expect Kylie to be the best player in the team. Just played a couple of games. Lucky he was, he suited what I was looking to play up front. And he did the business. I think this is our first penalty of the season. We've given away a few. Don't know if we actually had one ourselves. Um... <laughs> What was the keeper doing? The keeper like dove to save it and then dove again as the ball rolled away from him. And then Max Sweeney ends up putting the ball over from the corner that we won. Ah, uh, Malachlan thinks it across, nobody's there, and Lamb is offside. All the Bray players in unison are like, ah, oh, shucks. Yeah, every one of our players that was attacking that was offside. Delightful. Fleming to Malachlan. Lamb. 
Not a great pass, but O'Rourke picks it up. Go on, Mickey Rourke. Malachlan, Kylie turns, and oh, he's just put that over as well. Is it going to be one of those days today? I fear it may be. Doyle just absolutely slices our defence. But luckily, Tom Holland, with all his glory, manages to stop it. Colin. That went, yeah, went off one of the Bray players. So he got in the way of a goal. Mickey Rourke looking a bit uh, aggressive, as you do. Shanana Hana 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 is uh, a little on the low condition side. Fleming picks up the loose ball. Dinks it forward to O'Rourke. Somehow manages to keep the ball. Malachlan to Quinlan, who I was told in one of those in-between games thing, this popped up saying like, oh, tell uh, Quinlan not to shoot because he's shocking at it. He's, he's only gone and scored a goal. Uh, Jerry McLaughlin. Youth intake. He was good. Doyle heads it on. Tom Holland. Just about keeps a hold of that one. Big ball forward. Quinlan. McLaughlin. Leaves the ball behind him. Oh, it was just cheeky. Just doing it on purpose. Savat Trevian kicks it out. Fleming picks it up. Back to Mickey Rourke. Puts Quinlan through. Oh, across nobody was there. And then they're instantly on the break. Ah, uh, Clark, that was too easy by James Clark. Just took the ball down, moved to the other side of my centre back. And Bray Wanderers are now even because nobody decided to get on the end of Quinlan's pass cross. Pass cross. Maybe it was a shot and it was just that bad. McLaughlin wins the ball but then loses it and daily just puts it wide. McSweeney, yeah, to be fair, he missed the penalty. He's not been having a great game. Yeah, everyone dig in. Mm-mm. Yum, yum. Meow, meow. I'm a cow. Say meow, meow. I'm a cow. Uh, McSweeney, good chance he'll be coming off. He's booked on a 5.9, not playing all that well. We have two centre-backs on the bench that can come on and do the same job. But Quinlan... <laughs> that was weak. That should not have been a highlight. <laughs> that was not a highlight, lads. Colin. Whips it in. Kavanagh. Joe Doyle. Oh. One lad, show a bit of passion. We're going to take Sweeney off. Mick Sweeney. You're no very good. Okay. Okay. Jimmy Sullivan's coming on for him. Um, kind of want to take Leary off as well. I'm going to bring on... Lee Devitt. Devitt. Maybe making two substitutes. Two substitutions in the 55th minute. Not a great idea. But. You know. This is how we do. Douglas. McLaughlin heads clear. Devitt heads further. Ever so slightly further away. Kylie picks up the ball. Gets dispossessed. Gannon puts it into. Danger zone. Fleming, get Fle Tom Holland and Charlie Fleming looked at each other and both then decided that nah, we don't need to go after the ball. It's in the middle of nowhere. Tom Holland is a sweeper keeper. You think he'd go and just, you know, sweep. Sweep. Come on, lads. We need to score. O'Sullivan to Kylie. Tries the true ball, but doesn't quite get there. Heaney to Kavanagh. Oh, it's pinged around. Kylie on it. Kylie, there's two attempts in the... Rourke! <sighs> You're coming off. Kylie... That was terrible attempts. He's been quite good at one on ones so far. So the fact that he took three attempts, and we only have 23 fans here. To be fair, it is a journey up to, to Bray. And it's a. No offense to anyone from Bray, but it's not a very nice part of the world. Devitt. 
puts it in, Quinn in so far offside. You could literally have parked a fleet of buses in between him and the closest defender. Shocking. Shocking, lads. Shocking. Jeremy Lachlan is having a great game, to be fair to him. The young 16-year-old might actually get himself a contract. Call in. Just hammers that as hard as he physically can, as far wide as physically possible. And we're going to get smashed. 3-1. To be fair, it was away. So, you know. And McSweeney missed the penalty. I think if McSweeney had scored that penalty, it would have been a completely different game. Okay, I need to I need to fix this. I need to fix this. Oh god. Oh it's gone horribly wrong. Oh no. Okay. What have I learned from that? Do not let my assistant do a team talk, because he is bad at them. He is so so very bad at them. Limerick almost took the points off Galway. A ninety third minute winner is what it took for the Wexford had two players sent off. Jeez, sir. Yeah, disappointing collapse. I wouldn't say it was a collapse. We just didn't do well after we scored. After we scored, we kind of forgot how to play football. And the fact that our centre back was taking the penalty. What's his penalty taking? Five. Don't tell me he's our best penalty taker. Oh, Jesus. Is he our best penalty taker? I haven't actually checked. I just kind of let the players off to do their own thing. He was our best penalty taker on the pitch at that time. With five. Oh my god, I can't believe that. Okay. Well, for the next episode, I think we come back for the Cork City game. Because why not? And we play UCD. It's not too far. <laughs> Three games. Do we come back for it? We're going to get beaten. What's the point? Uh, we'll come. Actually, we'll come back for Drogheda, Kevin Teeley. You have not seen a drugs match yet. No. Play Galway. And then Athlone Bray. Yeah, we'll come back for drugs, Kevin Teeley. Because then that's almost around the same area that we had last time. Where Athlone and Bray will play Drugs and Cab and Cabo in the next episode. So, if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment and a subscription. Would be ever so delightful. Oh, I would be very delightful if you would do the things with the thing to do the thing thing. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. And I will see you in the next one. Ha-bye!